Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double Vibes and in this video lecture I'll explain what is the Cramer's rule and how do we use it. So Cramer's rule is basically used for solving the system of the linear equations of the smaller orders and uh, in this way uh, you can see that the Cramer's rule is applicable when the order of the system is small. Alright, and when the order of the system starts increasing then we move to the other approaches or the iterative methods that are the goal seeder methods or the Jacobi method. But right now we will see how the Kramer's rule is applicable for solving the system of order 2 by 2. So let's assume that the system of the linear equation is actually 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. Fine. And then the second equation is x minus y is equal to 2. So the Kramer's rule actually uses the concept of the determinant. Fine. So let's first represent this system of uh, these linear equations in terms of the matrix form, which is actually a x is equal to b. Fine. So a is the coefficient matrix. Let's write down the coefficients of x and y. So in the first equation, the coefficient of x is two. The coefficient of y is actually three. Then in the second equation, the coefficient of x is one, while the coefficient of y is minus one. Fine. Then they are being multiplied with the variables which are x and y. Fine. While on the right hand side, the constant coefficients are 6 and 2. Once you have written in this format, the next step is to find the determinant of A. Okay. So the determinant of A is denoted by the straight line bars and it's equal to. 2, 3, 1, minus 1. Let's just simplify it. We will multiply the diagonal entries. So, when I will perform the multiplication from left to right, then the sign doesn't change. So, you will get minus 2 over here. But when you will multiply from right to left, then you have to add a minus sign in between them and then you write the answer. So, in this way, you can see that the answer is equal to minus 5. This is the determinant of A. Okay. Now, in order to find the variable x, x is equal to 2. So, in place of x, you will write the coefficient matrix B, which is x, 6, 2. And then you will write the remaining entries of the matrix A as it is, which is 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 as it is. But the difference is now you have to find the determinant of it. And then you will divide this answer with the determinant of A that you have already determined or found. So 6 into minus 1 is actually equal to minus 6. Then 3 minus from the formula and 3 into 6 is actually equal to minus 6 again. Divide it with the determinant of A which is equal to minus 5 in this case. So you can see it's equal to minus 12 divided by minus 5. And on further simplification you can write it as it's equal to 12 over 5. Okay. Following the same steps we can find Y. So Y is equal to now X will remain as it is in the column which is 2 and 1. When in place of the y, we will write the b vector which is 6 and 2. And then we will again divide it with the determinant of a. So here you will see y is equal to 2 into 2 is actually 4. Minus 6 into 1 is 6 divided by minus 5. So you will have minus 2 over 5. And minus minus signs will be cancelled out and y will be equal to 2 over 5. Let's see either we have found the correct answer or not. So the, we will substitute the determined values in, the, in any of these equations. So let's assume that I choose the equation x minus y is equal to 2. The value of x that we have determined is 12 over 5. 
and the value of y is actually equal to 2 over 5 and the answer should be equal to the right hand side which is equal to 2 so let's just simplify it we will see that we will take the LCM over here and 12 minus 2 is actually equal to 10 divided by 5 which is equal to 2 in this case so the equation is satisfied that's why this is the solution thank you for watching